To the serious review of the last Rage game that was recently unleashed worldwide. Stick with it. This AAA game has been released by Sam Hogan, a man that this year was able to make a surprising Minecraft ripoff in just one minute. The game mechanic consists of jumping through various platforms using a strange blobby thing that remains attached to the surface where it lands. The controls are incredibly well crafted and permit to navigate very easily through the entire map, which is fairly big. Stick with it has been defined the hardest game ever by his fellow creator and may indeed deserve this definition. This game falls into the rage game subgenre. These are known for becoming pretty famous on YouTube because streamers like to play them and die a lot to show their reactions. It's impossible to not compare this with another Rage game that was released three years ago. In fact, Stick With It would like to be considered a spiritual successor to Getting Over It. The gameplay concepts are very similar. In both, you have to climb to reach the top of the map and beat the fucking game. The difference is that Stick With It is probably the most unfair game ever made. I have been playing this fucking game for like 50 fucking hours and I think I'm not even halfway beating it. There are some sections that to call them a nightmare is not enough, like the platforms on which you can't stick to and force you to make like two pixel perfect jumps in a row. Sam, you may want to patch something before famous YouTubers like PewDiePie and Markiplier are going to stream their gameplay to bazillions of people. Ah, and you can't make speedruns actually because there is not a restart feature, what the fuck. I'm doing pretty well trying to beat this shit, but the end is nowhere near and nobody knows actually the length of the fucking map. Final verdict. Pro, the controls are amazing. There are no glitches at all. It is not frustrating. It's free to play and you are a depressed blob. Cons, this game is perfect. In the end, I guess I will give this game a 7 out of 10,000.